Hi everybody, welcome back to another technical demo around the corpus application. In this video, I'm going to showcase how to simplify NoSQL database with the corpus dev services for MongoDB. Let's get started. So MongoDB is a well-known NoSQL database which you can use that uh, to retrieve data using low API, but also you can have the MongoDB document to retrieve all data, just like a query in a SQL database. There are one interesting part, maybe you need to uh, understand that MongoDB with the Quarkus have extension of MongoDB, but also MongoDB with the uh, Panache, which means you can simplify your database transition. As an example, active the record pattern, such as annually pattern, you can uh, reduce all unnecessary GABA method when you retrieve data or create your data with the a relation database with a panache, you can actually have the same capability with the MongoDB. Let's get right into the demo how it works with the MongoDB. Okay, so first of all, we're gonna create a new project using Quarkus CLI. So Quarkus create application, let's say MongoDB Dev Services project name, and then we're gonna add the required uh, extension, MongoDB Panache, and the rest to the easy React ejection to return the JSON format, uh, the output. So first thing first, we're gonna uh, run the Quarkus demo. In the meantime, you can find the MongoDB uh, data uh, container automatically stand up by Quarkus Dev Services. And once Quarkus is running, you can actually go to Dev UI and you can find all MongoDB client configurations such as MongoDB URL and the database uh, Lalo configuration by default. This is already defined your Dev Services container. Pretty awesome for developer. And let's say you try to add a new uh, database name here, uh, for example, person. So in the meantime, when you go to uh, application, we just uh, generate. And here is a sample hello world application. We don't use this resource, that's why I just delete it. The application proper, as you see, there's empty. So we're gonna add a new database configuration from WI. And then when you go back to application, you can find the, it's automatically edited. Uh, this is another awesome feature, the uh, config editor on WUI. Let's try to new, uh, add a new entity here and then try to first extend MongoDB uh, Panache. It's so like we have used uh, active record pattern, which means you just define the field name, like a Java attribute, like a name and add, uh, address, but you don't need to get and set a method to retrieve data, which is awesome. And then we're gonna define uh, just a resources file uh, to uh, handle your uh, endpoint like a person and to try to first method, something like the get method, like a method name list, which means that we're gonna retrieve all data from the person data from MongoDB. So here is a, a very interesting stuff. Uh, you don't need to use uh, like a uh, MongoDB document, like a query, like a SQL database, just list all of this predefined method to actually do, uh, give some same capability to retrieve all data from your MongoDB, which is one of the beauty of the capability on MongoDB Panache extension on Quarkus. Okay, that's it. So it's a pretty simple and the next method, like a post method to create a new entity on uh, MongoDB database. So today we're gonna define a new public method here, like a response, uh, return to response type, and then create a new person entity, and then just a persisting, and then return the response status to on one. So because it's really simple, because we just uh, involve this rest endpoint with a JSON format, uh, like a, a name and an address, uh, we're going to uh, using uh, curl command or HTTP command or using uh, another RESTful API on the Java application. That's it. Pretty simple. And now back to the application, your Quarkus is still running. And now let's try to uh, involve the first, uh, just with all data. As you see, there's nothing in there. So let's try to add a few data into that uh, application using MongoDB. Uh, for example, here's a JSON format data, like a name Daniel, my prepar name Dan, and address like a Boston. Actually, I'm living in a Boston. And then just call HTTP 8080, the local port, and the person, this endpoint. 
And then try to, you could see two on one, just create it, so it, it the application, just create it. Then let's try to add one more, uh, something like another name, like a, a J, James, and an address like a New York City, NYC, and then the uh, same endpoint, and I just return. We just created two entity in a MongoDB and try to access to retrieve data once again. And you can find here two uh, data just created. So this is really simple to uh, connect to database in a MongoDB, specifically in a local environment using Quarkus Dev Service. You don't need to using Docker CLI or Docker Compose uh, with some uh, Docker file to define uh, your specific environment to access the MongoDB on local machine. This is a simple way, and once you stop your demo, the, your dev service container will be stopped and terminated automatically, which means to reduce your resource uh, CG on your local machine. Pretty simple. And then the one of the great thing of the Panache MongoDB Panache extension allows the developer to simplify the data transaction. Uh, implementation logic, just a public method, and then you could uh, retrieve the field, the attribute on the database, and also you could create and retrieve. You can also have a repository pattern uh, rather than uh, active recorded pattern, which means you can uh, define custom entity and repository for specific operation, such as create and delete, update, rather than using predefined in a Panache operation. So just like uh, you can have the same capability, you can, uh, you when you're using uh, Panache for Hibernate ORM, the uh, RDBMS, like a MySQL or PostSQL uh, databases. Thanks for watching. Have a good rest of the day.